Although there are 53 tall buildings in Uptown Charlotte with more than 212 feet in height, according to Wikipedia, I will only talk about the first five skyscrapers in Charlotte, North Carolina. Interested to see the skyscrapers in Charlotte, North Carolina? The tallest building in Uptown Charlotte is Bank of America Corporate Center, which rises 871 feet with 60 floors. It's the 37th tallest in the United States and the tallest in North Carolina. Duke Energy comes in second tallest building in Charlotte and North Carolina, which has 48 floors and is 786 feet tall. Duke Energy Building is known for its LED light show during key moments of sporting events played there. For example, if the Carolina Panthers are playing, it lights up blue for Panthers touchdowns. True is formerly known as Hearst Tower with 659 feet in height and 47 floors and the third tallest building in North Carolina. Truist bought the building last year for $455 million. The signage at the top of the building that says Truist and logo are being petitioned to be removed. The fourth tallest building is Bank of America Tower, stands at a height of 632 feet and 35 floors. It broke ground on August 4, 2017. Honeywell will relocate its corporate headquarters to the site. One Wells Fargo Center is a skyscraper in Charlotte, North Carolina. It is the headquarters for Wells Fargo's East Coast Division at 588 feet tall and 42 stories. It is the fifth tallest building in Charlotte. When it was opened on September 14, 1988, it was the tallest building in North Carolina. Hi there, come with me for a driving tour of Uptown Charlotte. There are so many things to do and places to see in Uptown Charlotte. Find out what the four giant statues standing at the Queen City's four corners are. Why was it called Uptown Charlotte and not Downtown Charlotte? Coming up next. There are four figures you will always find standing at the Queen City Center. Have you noticed the massive statues guarding the city center's four corners? The statues represent commerce, industry, transportation, and the future. What's the story behind the four giant statues? Keep watching! Bring your kids at Discovery Place and learn about the exploration of science and the natural world through extraordinary exhibits and educational programs.
For commerce, that was based on the fact that there was gold discovered in the 1830s and that's why the mint was developed. For industry, the textile industry was big in North Carolina and Charlotte was the crossroads. Trade and Tryon is the center of the town. It was and is the crossroads as a transportation hub. So that's the genesis of the transportation figure, celebrating the workers who built the transportation network. While honoring Charlotte's past, the three figures all look toward the fourth figure, the future. <laughs> So, why is it called Uptown Charlotte and not Downtown Charlotte? Here's how it happened. The early residents of Charlotte would walk or ride their horses to trade and try and to buy and sell their goods. They literally had to go uphill, so they would say they were going up to town. It later was shortened to just going uptown. The Vian Museum is a history museum where exhibits focus on life in the North Carolina Piedmont after the American Civil War. Romare Bearden Park is a 5.8-acre public park located at 300 South Church Street in Charlotte, North Carolina. Named for Charlotte-born artist Romare Bearden, it opened in late August 2013. This fountain lights up at night with different colors and sometimes there is a free live music performed by musicians. Truist Field, formerly known as BB&T Ballpark, the home of the International League Charlotte Knights baseball team. The NASCAR Hall of Fame is a shrine to the history and heritage of NASCAR under one roof with ever-evolving exhibits for you to explore.
The Beckler Museum of Modern Art houses more than 1,400 artworks created by major figures of 20th century modernism such as Pablo Picasso, Andy Warhol, Max Ernst, and many others. If you want to see the map of Uptown Charlotte, please click on the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the fresh content we post here on YouTube every week. Here are the videos about Charlotte you may want to watch next, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, Please click on our photo and ring the bell so you'll be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.